Hey, what's going on everybody? Jerry here with 3DHP and I've got more goodies in the mail. This time it's from Ziltec. Ugh, and it's heavy. <laughs> Actually, I got two things here from Ziltec. So, one of them, yes, is exactly what you thought it is. It's a big Texas sized spool of filament. Um, five kilogram is what I believe you'd call it. Let's take a look. He's paid for it work here talking about it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Let me get back to the box. Yeah, that's a big spool of filament. That's going to be awesome. That's going to go a long way, hopefully, on my R2D2 project. But yeah, that's a big Texas spool, five kilograms. It's a white PETG. Very nice indeed. But one problem. You know, got a standard spool holder here. Not nope, that ain't gonna fit on there. Got my little roller set up. Not nope, that ain't gonna work either. So they sent me out something here to make that easy. Let's take a look at what we got and see if we have to put it together. I reviewed some of their filament like I don't know a couple years ago, and they had a different style of a roller system for their big spools, big Texas size spools. And this is a new and improved version they came out with. And I'm not really sure what we got here until I get it on the pack. Alright. 5K spool holder. It's like a nice little kit. Parts here, nuts and bolts, got some printed parts. Nice little roller. Stainless steel. Got a rod going through, which will be on bearings. Spin, that looks nice. Got some extrusion. And obviously the two plates here that appear to be their steel. And once I get this all done, we're going to be testing this on my new Kaiwu printer here I got here. Kaiwu Max. So. Covered in plastic also. Okay, we'll turn it over, we'll put the feet in the bottom. Let's see here. Let's see any wa oh I see washers built in. Washers built into the foot, that way they don't pull through. Nice idea. T nut on there. It started, then I can drop it in the extrusion. See what side valve I'm going to need here. Alrighty.
yeah, that's, that'll roll for days. And it's sturdy. It's it's not going to tip over. I don't think there's any reason why it would tip over as long as you don't get a snag. But yeah, it rolls really good. So. And to flip, take the roll off, let's see if that'll just lift out of there. It may just lift out of there. And I guess not. Just have to take the two screws back out. Or you pull the shaft all the way out. Yeah, that's another option. If the shaft comes all the way out. Not sure if it does or not. But anyway, yeah, pretty cool. Well, let's get something loaded up here on my Kaibu Max and we'll start printing some goodies. See how this works overnight. Very cool. So, and the paperwork that came with it simply talks about the recommended temperatures for PLA, ABSP, TGT, TPU, hips, and PLA carbon fiber and wood. Now it's got printing tips. And uh, yeah, so but there was no instructions with how to put this together. It's pretty self-explanatory. It wasn't hard. Just kind of, you know, figure it out as you go. So I'm not sure if we'll include some kind of instructions or not. But it definitely uh, it went to, went it went together real good. So. And here we are at Ziltech.com. They're down in Texas here in the USA. And let's see. They, you know, they've got filament. They've got parts. Uh, they got a little bit of everything. They've got resin. They've got 3D printers. A little bit of everything. Let's go over here to their filament. And we'll go over to their 5 kilogram Texas size spools. And they are out of stock on a, a bunch of their items, but they're constantly getting supply in. So these change daily. They're constantly getting different things in. And because all that's going on is, you know, a lot of places are out of stock on different things. But anyway, we're looking at PLA, PETG, and ABS. Here's a roll right here they sent me. Which is currently 8495, 1.75 millimeter, weighs 11 pounds. Man, that's heavy. That's big, big roll. And there's a video that Uncle Jesse did on the while back talking about their black. I also did one a few years ago. But, and let's go back up and let's see. I, the spool holder, I couldn't figure out where it was at. So let's just type in spool holder. Uh, where are we at? Okay, here we go. Here's a spool holder right here. Wow, $24.95, that's a great price. <clears throat> I mean, this thing is built like a tank. It's rock solid. Here's some different angles of it, like I already showed you the one that I just put together. And also, you know, let's, let's, it's showing us smaller spools there. You can put use on it also. But let's see, what does it say about it here? Uh, I guess better feed control for those extra heavy spools. The SDL files for the 5K and the 1K spool spacers are over. You can find them over on Thingiverse, and they got a link there where you can reprint those if you should ever need them. If the ones that you have here get damaged or you need extras or whatever the reason might be. Um, it's got 2040 cross bracing, laser cut side panels, closed bearing roller, 3D printed spacers for a snug fit, 3D printed tension adjuster to control backlash. And, of course, included in the package, as you can see, everything I showed you was the bearing, the side panels, the nuts, bolts, screws, um, the 3D printed parts. It's got the four rubber feet. And, uh, yeah, it, it's, you know, built like a tank, built very well. They sell tons of product. And uh, currently, and up until now, if you use the cold code 3DHP at checkout, you would get 15% off your order, except for special filament packs. All that ends at the end of this month. This is August right now. The time of the taping is August 5th. You have until the end of the month to use, use the code 3DHP to get 15% off your total order except for special filament packs. Starting next month, September 1st, that will be reduced down to 5%. And, uh, you know, they've had that going on for many years now. You get 15% off. Well, now it's going back to 5%. So, anyway. But, yeah, that's an awesome spool holder. It's much nicer 
than the one that I reviewed a few years ago by them. And uh, yeah, let's get back to uh, the printing and see what we got going on here. Hey guys, got a few more things I wanted to show you that Ziltex sent out. They sent out this really nice hoodie for my wife. It won't fit me, I'm too fat. <laughs> but it says Ziltek on the front. It zips up. It's got two gears on the back and their logo, their uh, web address. It's a very nice hoodie. And they also sent me out a large mouse pad. So I met, asked uh, someone, of, one of the people who worked there, if they had this or that. And then anyway, they sent me out some extra goodies. And I'm hoping that they either sell these on their website and have apparel. That'd be really cool if they had hats and t-shirts, mouse pads, um, things like that. But I, what I think they're going to do is they're, they're possibly, they might use these for future giveaways. They might have uh, things for future giveaways. These are a couple samples. But they look really cool. And one other thing I got that I've really been wanting, but I well, I've really been wanting, but I love the stickers. I've got stickers, <laughs> lots of stickers. So, and what's cool about extra stickers is occasionally I have giveaways on my weekly hangouts. And I have uh, every Saturday, usually around 1 p.m., I have a weekly hangout where I invite makers to come online and we chat about what we're printing, what we're painting, lasering, CNC, uh, resin printing. And that's usually on Saturdays at one o'clock. It changes sometimes. Then I have special guests on during the week on different different occasions. And I tend to give away different things occasionally. So when I get lots of stickers from somebody, I kind of collect them up. And then I have different giveaways here and there for different sticker packs. But one place we definitely need one and it's right here on the spool holder. Make that official. Put one on both sides of it. And I got Octolaps running right here for the first time. I've never tried Octolaps before. So I've got that running. This base is almost done. And if you stay tuned till right after when I get done gabbing here, you'll be able to check out my first and ever my first ever Octolaps of the base I'm printing in PETG. And what I did up here on the top of the spool holder so it wouldn't jump off and get tangled, I took two zip ties and I basically put made a loop up here. That way the filament stays in one spot and it doesn't fall around. But yeah, it's been working great. I've had no issues with it. I love the little thing. And, uh, oh, and I got some cool pictures from Ziltec. They told me uh, one of the people walked around and took some pictures of uh, their warehouse and the front of their building. So here's some recent pictures. So stay tuned for their Octolapse and for some cool pictures. Well, thanks for watching everybody. I hope this video might have helped you a little bit. I know my videos are kind of long and drug out. But I don't like having two or three minute videos. I like to make them last a little bit whenever I can. And I crunch them down the best that I can. I do a lot of editing. So I do my best. So thank you very much, everybody, and happy printing. And thank you very much, Ziltech, for being my sponsor. I appreciate it. Hey, that print just got done. Let's check it out. Yeah, this was done in base mode. And uh, yeah, it's got a couple little minor strings on it. It's got to tweak my settings a little bit, but it came out very nice. The, you know, I've used their white before, their black, their PLA. I've used a lot of different filaments from Ziltec. I've been buying from them for uh, two or three years now. And I've had zero problems with their filament. They've got great products, great filament, and uh, fast shipping out of Texas. So if you live anywhere in the U.S., they're uh, great people to buy from. So anyway, 